What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something just very quick and easy. It's more of a general maintenance, but also a small problem solver when it comes to front load washers, like this one over here. Uh, so this one here is actually a Samsung front load washer that we have in our house. So as most of you probably already know, if you have a machine like this, sometimes it is common to get a little bit of water build up inside the drum, which can be fixed and sometimes you get a little bit of an odor from that water being built up, which can also be fixed. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is how to clean out the trap that's on the bottom of the machine. That's where it's gonna collect a lot of hair and any other kind of lint or junk that might've been in your pockets that got sucked down into the washer. It all comes through this trap at the bottom. And when that gets gunked up, that's when you're gonna start having problems. So make sure you do clean out this trap at least every couple weeks. I always try to go with at least once a month and then I do a deep clean uh, cycle. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so again, this is a Samsung front load washer here, okay? Now typically what you're gonna do is way down here at the bottom. Okay, so way down here at the bottom, here's a panel door. All you gotta do is press in, it opens up. There's a hose here, you wanna pop that off Okay. Then you want to just get like a towel or a small bucket pan, not a, t a tall one, but something flat like a pan or I just like to shove a towel under here, you know, shove it under there pretty deep. And then what you do is you just pull, do a little twist and pull at the same time and pull this plug out. So it's just a push plug. Pull it out and then hold this hose down. You see, I still have a little bit of water left in there. So you see how it just stopped? So there's a little bit of water left in there. But what you do is you hold it down so it drains down. And once it stops draining, then you wanna go ahead and right here, press in and turn to counterclockwise, untwist it and pull out your screen. Now I just cleaned mine earlier, okay? But I did have, you get some hair in there, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. If there's something stuck in your pockets, I mean, whatever it might be, but there's all kinds of stuff that gets stuck in here. One time I found a key. So if this gets clogged up, it's not gonna allow your washer to drain properly. So then you're gonna end up starting to have a foul odor or you're gonna have water build up inside the tank. So what you do is after you clean this all out, go ahead, put it back through. Put your plug back in. Clip it up high. Close your door and then go ahead and then throw two of these in there, which again, here's what they look like. You just pick these up at Walmart. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw two of these in on a full wash on hot water, let it do its thing and you're all clean and ready to go. By doing this whole setup, the wiping it down, cleaning out the bottom drain and then running two of those plank pellets in there and you should get your washer back to running a little smoother with less water buildup and no further smell. That's it, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, like this video, leave a comment if you have any questions, let me know. And again, subscribe to the channel because there's always more videos to come. So once again, thank you, see you in the next video.